Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the X Universe. Yes, it is finally time. I am the Heizmeister, and this is episode one of the playthrough of X4 Foundations in English now on this channel. Well, I say playthrough, but you cannot really play through an X game. Anyway, minor details aside, yes, um, as per popular request uh, in the last FTD videos, I will now start a playthrough of uh, X4 Foundations with all DLCs up to this point installed. Um, the latest one being uh, Tides of Avarice and uh, yeah, it's finally time. So, I don't want to talk too much now, let's just start a new game and although you might want me to um, begin probably at uh, a scenario where we are immediately thrown into the heart of the Tides of Everest content, uh, there are unfortunately a few problems regarding that. There are still a few bugs around and I wanted to do something different for this playthrough. Something different than my uh, playthrough in German, the, the X4 playthrough in German. And um, how about we start uh, with the Terran start first. And don't worry, don't worry, we'll visit the new sectors um, surrounding mm -hmm. the sector of Avarice in due time. All in due ah, time. Yes. Just the be a little bit patient. Yeah. Let's start with Project Genesis. The mission statement of the Pioneer Initiative was to expand the Terran sphere of influence past yes. Soul's gates. Terrans. Refugee communities suddenly stranded when the gates were disconnected, along with disenfranchised people born on the outer rim of Soul, were brought together under the banner of expanding into the unknown. At first, right. it was merely a tool established by the Terran government with the express intent of keeping these disparate groups at arm's length and to create another protective buffer between Soul and the Gate Network. Ever since their inception, however, these resolute pioneers ceaselessly fought to loosen the Terran's grip over the organization in order to turn it into something truly inspiring and independent. Okay, we will play as Najia Takio. Uh, yes, <laughs> the uh, Terran names are usually uh in Japanese and there are a few tidbits about the lore that I will uh, gladly inform you about. Um, this, the X universe is one of my favorite sci-fi franchises and uh, subsequently I have immersed myself into this, uh, into the lore of the X universe quite a bit. So, um, yeah, if uh, the situation allows, I will of course comment on the law and uh, tell you guys a little bit about it. Uh, just a uh, disclaimer ahead, uh, everything I know about the law of the X universe stems from my uh, way too many hours playing X games and uh, reading through the official wiki quite a bit. Well, inofficially official. Right then, we'll start in Brennan's Triumph with our starting ship, a Rapier, which is a ship of the Scout class, size S, a small loan of 5,000 credits in our pockets and no property at all. And we are a Terran citizen. Right then. For us Sagaris pioneers, science is the cornerstone of society. With the few resources we have available to us, it's the only way we could ever hope to make Brennan's triumph our home, and to truly free ourselves from the Terran yoke. Oh, the Terrans are not that bad. For that reason, I could never give Mostly. up the pursuit of knowledge, no matter what dangerous places it might lead me to. Yes, we are in the everlasting pursuit of knowledge and credits. Let's not forget credits and, and profits, of course. Yeah, that's why we're here. After all, this is a also an economy economy simulation. All right, I've been waiting too long for this. Okay, I'll of course skip the loading screen. You don't have to see that. That's going to take quite a while. There we go. Hey, that's us. 
Well, well. It's been years now since the gate to Aldrin shut down. I wonder how the people there are doing. Oh, are scared? Aldrin, yes. Do they miss their loved ones? I wonder if we're ever going to hear from them. So Aldrin. many technological advances, well, Aldrin, that's and we're still mostly small. clueless about how the gates work and what affects them. We just take them for granted. I'll tell you about Aldrin once this we talk sequence to has finished. Built them. Ask them why. Why build a network of gates and then leave? Dumping quite the heavy law so on us. So many questions yet to be answered. I guess the upside is that I won't run out of things to investigate anytime soon. <laughs> okay. By the way, uh, whenever I tell you something Dashiell, about lore... What are you doing? Oh. Are you off daydreaming again? Have you not yes. read my message? I clearly stated the importance of this task. I have already set up all the instruments, and now I'm only waiting for you. Hurry up. We don't have all cycle. Hello, Dr. Rick. Uh, yes, um, you see, whenever I say, uh, tell you about, about the law of this uh, universe, there are spoilers ahead. Just saying. Anyway, so our first assignment is to place a satellite in a target area. Um, as you can see uh, for new players, the X Games are... Well, they have a bit of learning curve, like from the depths, uh, which is a rather steep learning cliff um, layered with spikes. Anyway, we have a personal message. Let's see. Profit analysis summary. Uh, okay, several designated positions. Amplify our sensory capabilities. Yeah, we're doing science. That's basically the gist of it. So, off to our ship, a rapier, a Terran scout ship. Now, um, we were talking about Aldrin there just a second ago. Uh, Aldrin is, was, or hopefully still is, a Terran colony, a really old one that... Rapier. Um, yep, there we are. Uh, that you basically rediscover in the X3 series in X3 Terran Conflict. Aldrin has been uh, lost, had been lost for quite some time, and uh, after the Terrans rediscovered their old colony, they made a uh, quite a startling um, discovery that the people of Aldrin have survived quite well uh, all this isolation, isolated from the Terran main colonies and f well, from the Sol system, and um, they have even managed to hold on to one of the old terraforming uh, CPU ships. Um, yeah, regarding the CPU ships, I think when we we'll see the main antagonists of the X series, I'll tell you something about this. Just know for now that the CPU ship is kind of a, a central processor for terraforming fleets that uh, the Terrans built a long, long time ago and sent them out into the universe or through the gate network that was then discovered to terraform planets for them. It's critical that we stay on schedule, so please use your travel drive. Yes, I will use my travel drive, Dr. Nick. Let me just... Maintenance vessel. There is an enemy here. Now, if we defeat a hostile mass traffic near a station... No, don't! Yeah, sorry. We will be rewarded with a uh, boost in reputation with the faction this station belongs to. Right then. Now then, use your travel drive. Okay, Dr. Rick. There we go. Yeah, so basically the people of Aldrin had survived and um, they, uh, <laughs> in the X3 uh, series, they had some of the more interesting ships. Um, there was one called the Spring Blossom, which was basically a ship of the Corvette class that could carry uh, frigate class weaponry and was blisteringly fast. Place the satellites as precisely as possible. Major DBA, thanks for your help. Yeah. Ch uh, you cut off Dr. Rick there, but... Basically, Aldrin... Uh, it's a very interesting place, a really large sector in the X3 games. 
uh, you had several um, orbital accelerators around the place. Uh, these are structures that basically accelerate Russia, a ship please be precise. near to speeds, near light speed, and uh, well, on the other end of the accelerator, decelerate them again to uh, lessen travel time. So, uh, yeah, the sector was that big that you would use these accelerators to <laughs> get uh, around it. But yeah, Aldrin. I think many players will remember Aldrin mostly for the one ship have a higher margin of error and uh, that's the spring blossom one, as we can compensate for any deviation with the subsequent satellites look my uh i'm i'm doing my best here hey, hey, hey. so deploy a satellite oh by the way in case a you haven't seen it yet deploy, although it's hardly worth mentioning as we need all three to gather useful data all right, Dr. Rick. Uh, this is our rapier. Uh, quite an interesting design. Um, built vertically rather than horizontally, like uh, many other spaceships in this game. So, yeah. Oh, I should probably mention that um, in the X-Universe, the Terrans, uh, they are a bit... Uh, I wouldn't say xenophobic, more overly careful, paranoid. And xenophobic. Okay. Uh, but they, uh, they have their reasons. I read in your file that your family has roots in Aldrin. That colony certainly developed some interesting technology there we when go. they were isolated. It's unfortunate that they're cut off again. It's almost as though the universe doesn't want us reunited. I, for one, am glad to be on this side of the gate and have access to Sol in its full glory. Maybe one day you too will be granted access to Earth. <laughs> Yeah, see, that's the thing here. The Terrans are so protective of their home system, Sol, and certainly their home um, sector, Earth, that they don't even grant um, Terrans that were born in the Sol system or elsewhere uh, access to their home sector, I mean, the home planet, Earth. That is, uh, yeah, quite, quite the thing, actually. And just be overshot or deployment area there. Yeah. But yeah, um, the gate network was actually built by an ancient race and um, here is where Terran technology comes into play. Because the Terrans, um, they of all races in the X universe have managed to build a gate themselves. We need to be more precise with positioning the second satellite. It's around Neptune, I think. Uh, or was it Uranus? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, the deterrents uh, are technologically advanced, but in the last year, especially after the second Terran conflict, noted. One to go. Um, the other races of the universe have caught up a bit. Well, that and uh, stealing Terran meta-antimatter drive technology has certainly helped. But yeah, Terran technology. Superior technology. I find it interesting that you like spending <laughs> so much time here. Yeah. Most people prefer the relative peacefulness of Sol. I never thought I'd see the day when Brennan's Triumph, the legendary epicenter of anarchy, was routinely patrolled by Terran forces. Given the history, you can see why the former Space Command chose to establish a connection here. But there's only so much that Polish can accomplish. Oh uh, yeah, Brennan's Triumph is, or should I say, was a sector mostly known for its dubious activities in the past. Uh, many criminal syndicates have settled here and the sector was rife with uh, hackers, I think. Yeah. Anyway. We can even look around. How are we looking with that last sat placement? We have things to do here, and these readings don't look good. We need that sensor data. Well, Dr. Nick, how... Uh, yeah, there I said it. <laughs> Dr. Rick, how about you uh, go out and push? Maybe I'll be faster that way. Seriously. That's a wreck there. Wreck. Yep. Now... Notice how I used my boost there. It's of the utmost importance for this one. Yes. The optimal performance required for this experiment. 
I'm certain you will. You can do your science in peace once I'm done here. Yeah, boosting uh, gives you a temporal speed boost. Well, big surprise there. But drains your shield energy in the process. It's about time. So be careful with that one. I'm done. May I now enjoy uh, the tranquility of Brennan's triumph? Yes. One inactive mission. What could that be? It's probably an upkeep mission that, yeah, I need to assign a captain for my ship, the Rapier. By the way, this is the Galaxy Universe map. Ah, should I say Galaxy map better? Because the gate network that we have access to, or that the, the X Universe takes place, is actually within our Milky Way Galaxy and doesn't even cover all of it. Um, all these sectors that you see here that are connected by gates, oh, here's the jump gate to Neptune, by the way, um, they are not necessarily near each other. So Brennan's Triumph, completely different sector, is not necessarily near the Sol system. They could be on the other side of the galaxy and still connected through those jump gates. But yeah. Now, Gia, it yes. looks like your security clearance has been approved. Please Goody. come and see me so we can discuss this in person. I will fly to the Oberth. No, not the ship from Star Trek. That has a, uh, a sphere as its primary hull. Wasn't that the, the Oberth was? Yes, that was a medical ship, wasn't it? Uh, anyway. Medical supply factory. Medical supplies. Yeah, I'm sure they are medical, medical supplies. Medical supply factory. Right then. I've only played this game in German, by the way, so I'm not used to uh, the English voice lines just yet. And the English names for some of the sectors, they are quite different, actually. Entering system. Yes. Sol. Sol. There we go. We have entered the Sol system. Through the gate in Welcome, visitor, to Neptune. Pure and Radiant Sol, Hang on. Bastion of peace and prosperity. If you too want to protect this utopia and the stars beyond, then do not hesitate. The Sol born militia welcomes any and all volunteers to join the foreign auxiliaries, subject to qualification and contribute their expertise to help maintain the safety of the gate network. Remember, we are the shield wall of civilization, and together, we shall overcome. Yeah, here's one of the issues with the Terrans, uh, at least some of them. They are a bit overzealous when it comes to protecting the gate network from uh, any kind of threat and uh, they won't care about your sovereignty over a sector they'll just march in there with their grand fleet and do whatever they have to do uh, can't say that uh, has um, gained them a lot of friends within the community of planets but hey anyway here is a proof for the Terran technology I hinted at before, this gate is quite different from the others because this is a Terran built gate. I think one of the very few ones that have uh, been built by Terrans at all. Um, the other one would be in Aldrin. Anyway, by the way, we are playing as the faction, or we are, well, playing for the faction of uh, the Segaris. Pioneers and uh, Segaris was actually alongside with the sector um, Magnia, uh, right adjacent to Aldrin. So, uh, yeah. Um, I think after the events of X3 Terran Conflict and X3 Albion Prelude, no, no, Terran Conflict, a uh, subsequent shutdown of the gate network has begun, ah, which. Unfortunately, we're still a lot waiting of on some of the team to arrive. In the meantime, perhaps you can do me a favor. I'm in need of an item not often found on the general market. Consider it a test of your resourcefulness. I'll send over some details. 
I am very resourceful. Acquire an AGI processor. Uh, yeah, AGI, of course, uh, an acronym for so not Artificial not General Intelligence. I've marked a potential location where you can hope to find the item. Check your map for those details. These items are often sourced from Xenon. Ah. It would not be very professional of me to encourage you to seek them out. Um, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Probably the main antagonist of the X universe, the Xenon. Uh, yeah, we'll be uh, meeting some more noble gases later. Anyway, the Xenon are the um, successors, or should I say the evolved terraformer fleet that the Terrans sent out. Um, well, spoilers ahead, of course. It all happened when the Terrans half-heartedly tried to uh, decide to stop the terraformer project and um, a half-baked shutdown command that was sent out to all terraformer fleets and uh, I think some meddling of a certain Dr. Martin Winters caused him to gain sentience. Yeah, um, I can't really say that went very well. It went poorly. A lot. Oh, hello! M. There we have a Xenon ship. Actually, I should be looking at them right now. I should dock at the station. These are fully automated, by the way. There is no pilot on board. The Xenon are a machine race. Hang on, let me just increase my reputation. Maintenance vessel. Maintenance vessel. Oh, I see. But yeah, basically, Terraformer evolved into Xenon, um, fought a terrible, terrible war against the Terrans and the Sol system. A remnant, or, should I say, a, f a fraction of a Terran fleet managed to lure the Xenon away through a gate into uh, basically an outer colony of the Terrans and uh, then the gate was destroyed and uh, yeah, this remnant was then stranded far away from home. Now watch me do this landing here proper like. <laughs> There we go. Without docking computer, even. Yeah. Successfully docked. I know. Thank you, Thanks Betty. for your help. You're welcome. So yeah, the Xenon. You can likely find the dealer in the bar. Knowing you, you're probably already acquainted. Yes, I will use my vast uh, array of meta knowledge to uh, head to the bar. Yes, that's it. Okay. Now, where is the shady person? Uh, probably the one with the sunglasses over its head. Uh, there we Can go. I help? Yes. Show me your wares. Here you go. An AGI processor is what I want to acquire. Or oh, isn't an AGI heuristic core? Hmm. Let's see. AGI processor. Here you go. Uh, not Here you this go. one. Oh, looks like it's uh, actually comes at a price, so we have to earn some credits first. Well then. Goodbye. How about I get back to my ship and see if those Xenon Rapier. fighters are still around. They um. are. Um, ships here uh, drop some wares when they are defeated and maybe I can through uh, I can through skillful piloting um. get me some of those xenon fighters and get them to drop a few wares now please be aware I'm in a scout ship here and not a very well equipped one and so I have to be extra careful when fighting these xenon So it seems we have a sector patrol here in our vicinity and they are helping us out. Very good. And I'm also equipped with the weakest Terran weapon as well. Well, isn't that just nice? Come here, you. Yeah, I see. And you know, the Rapier being a scout ship 
isn't actually very maneuverable. It can go fast in a straight line, sure, but um, ah, there we go. Activate O for the loot magnet and see what we can find. N. N. Right then. Oh, by the way, um, when we we'll get to a building or upgrading a ship, I will explain something about the different components of the ship and um, what kind of differences there are between the uh, between the components of each race, because there are differences. Okay, I have acquired an AGI processor, so I don't need that Thanks black market help. contact anymore. Well, uh, there are two ways you can make it big here in the X universe. Trade, well, a peaceful route, or fighting. All this. Now I have acquired these mission objectives, or the items for these mission objectives, through fighting. Well, I could have traded for them, but uh, I was short on cash. Right, back to the Oberth. But yeah, the Xenon, a machine menace that the Terrans are determined to wipe out. <clears throat> now, makes sense since, uh, you know, it's um, a little bit embarrassing to admit, but they were the ones who unleashed this machine menace upon the universe after all. Or oh, the, the galaxy. This side of the gate network. You know what I mean. You gotta, you gotta clean up after yourself. But yeah, um, when it comes to the Xenon, the Terrans actually are extremely serious. Uh, maybe a little bit too serious, since uh, yeah, they'll, they'll gladly violate um, any rights that other races have, uh, may have on a sector to simply eliminate a Xenon holdout. Uh, they do not kid around. Docking granted. Thank you. Ooh. Yes, <laughs> that's um, also one of the reasons why I like to um, purchase a landing computer very early on. Since well, my flight skills uh, may be mediocre, the my landing done. skills are just uh, nothing to write home about. Okay then. By the way, this is the Oberth. A, um, I think it's Okinawa it Research. Yeah, an uh, converted Okinawa freighter. Uh, not a fan of this asymmetric design, though. But hey, bridge. And it's also one of the things I would like to do in this playthrough is to make great use of Terran components, uh, Terran ships, as well as Terran wares. Because the Terran economy here in this game, um, the production lines, are a lot more simpler than the ones in the rest of the gate network. Hi, Dr. Rick. Good job. <clears throat> You're just in time. We're about ready to disembark. Nice. Um, you know, if the local authorities found me with an AGI processor, which is a component found in Xenon ships, I would be in a lot of trouble. Well, <clears throat> probably. We're on our way towards a facility very important to the future of our people. It recently suffered structural damage due oh. to some unknown spatial distortion. Wasn't me. That's why you've been brought in. Our resources are limited, but our people are exceptional. I welcome you to the team. Hi, team. Unfortunately, our limited resources force us to make a minor detour. A number of satellites have been targeted by Xenon. While we managed to intercept the attackers, several satellites have been left in a state of disrepair. Can't I will assign that. a number of satellites for you to return to working order. Let's get to work. Okay, Dr. Rick. Let's get to work. Why is it always satellites? Well, because it is. Less complaining, more working. Damn it. Okay, off to the rapier. Oh, there we go. Hmm. Well now. 
Uh, yeah, the Xenon. They are certainly a plague upon this universe, but there are more plagues that uh, threaten the lives of the people here in the X universe. And maybe we'll encounter right them in the future. Although, should I say, we are certain to encounter them in the future. There we go. Everything has been repaired. And Dr. Rick Feynman is happy, probably. I think. Talk to Dr. Rick Feynman. I will do so. Where is the Oberth? Oh, there it is. Ah, that's going to take a while. <clears throat> so. Let's head there and we'll have a look at these sectors. Um, we have been in Neptune and we have here our black market contact on the station. Once you have unlocked a black market contact, we can always head back there to the bar and sell our illegal wares there. Um, it is usually recommended to not have illegal wares on hand while traveling to various sectors. Uh, if the sector police catches you, they I usually frown upon smuggling illegal wares somewhere. There is a way to safely store those wares, since some of them are needed for crafting, and uh, certainly for crafting very useful recipes, but unfortunately we haven't unlocked that way just yet. So, coming in for landing. Um, brace yourselves, ground personnel. I might make a few scratches into that landing pad. Boing. Docking granted. Should have um, asked for docking permission first. But yeah. Uh, come on. Uh huh. There we go. What are you doing there? Aerobics? Successfully docked. No, I know it's just guiding me to a safe docking position. Uh, that is a, a, um, yeah, <clears throat> an exercise in futility, I mean. <laughs> I do not need guidance. Right, off to the bridge we go. Hi, Dr. Rick. That's out of the way. We can finally get on with our primary task. Yes, please. I can hardly wait. Uh, where are we? It's all so bright and foggy at the same time. There seems to be a nebula here. Oh, asteroids. I suspect resources Dying and credits free. ahead. And nice. here we are. As you know, this is a high security facility. Just because you have clearance to do your job, it doesn't mean you can go wandering off or touch everything. It is currently unmanned and in safe mode until we can repair the damage and ensure no further anomalies occur. Do you know what causes those anomalies? I'm not at liberty to divulge such information, but rest assured you will be safe to perform your duties. Sure. We begin by repairing the external structure. Get into your spacesuits and prepare to be guided to your assigned positions. Right then, time to repair the damage. Yeah, anomalies. You know, after the gates have... Actually, I didn't need to do that. After the gates have uh, shut down, we have encountered some anomalies uh, in the universe and in our sectors. Unstable pockets in space, so to speak. I'll just, I'll just leave, my, leave my rapier here. There's nothing that can go wrong anyway. Use my spacesuit. There we go. And there are our mission objectives. We need to repair those. And this is this structure Dr. Rick Feynman was talking about. This um, high security facility where we won't touch anything, of course. Dips on the glowy bits, by the way. Uh, come on. I'm boosting now, but I probably need to upgrade my spacesuit as well. Let's stop. And there we go. One more, and we'll be done. Alright, back to the ship. We're picking up strange readings again. You'd better get back to the ship. 
Yes, yes, yes. Coming. Uh, hello? Ah, come on, don't leave me here! What are you doing? What is happening? Oh shit, I'm gonna puke. Oh. Help. I'm out of control. Oh, there we go. What is this? Some large artificial structure. So this is what was on the other side of the tear. It does seem that our investigation has led to some potentially groundbreaking discovery. Assistant? Hello? Assistant? Who's speaking? Can you hear me? No, I'm not your assistant. It seems that they were either vaporized or crewed for the rift themselves. Hmm. And what is this? I don't know. You, you tell there. me. Are you alright? Um. I don't know, am I? Where am you I? You are in Taladi space. Ugh. Assuming you know what a Taladi is. I do. Profit lizards. Uh, yeah, so, a Terran stranded in Taladi space. Uh, well, this doesn't look like seas well, but I can't help to get a weird feeling of deja vu. My name is Bozo Tar. Some might call me one of the foremost minds of the current age. Uh huh. If anyone knew I existed, that is. But never mind ah. that. Did you perhaps get pulled through the rift along with this station? Hmm, perhaps I did. Now, now, let us keep a calm demeanor. Otherwise, your oxygen intake may increase rapidly. Oh. I will send the ship to your location. I do hope you will tell me where you have come from. First, let's get you to safety. Ah. We have met a Boron, the one of the races in the X universe, and everyone loves the Borons. They are a very uh, friendly, always curious, and um, yeah, I would say a very peaceful race. Uh, ever in pursuit of new scientific discoveries, and um, generally very liked by all. Well, okay, there are a few exceptions. I mean, the, the Xenon don't like them, but then again, the Xenon don't like anyone. Uh, yeah, what do we have here? Willemot, Vanguard. Willemot, Vanguard. Bo okay. Docking granted. Thank you for granting me docking. This is a Teladi ship, if I'm not mistaken. It appears you are sufficiently safe. Yes, you can see it by the rather... Am I correct uh, assuming that you have some connection to this station? I have already begun to remotely interface with its systems and appear to have gained significant access. Well, aren't you a crafty one? I have questions I would like answered, but unfortunately, it seems I must go. You see, I am not currently supposed to be working on this project. Oh. It appears that I am at a disadvantage and find myself in trusting stewardship of the station to you. Ha! For all I know, you are an enemy agent, already privy to the inner workings of this facility. Yes, Please that's what I am. Please use it for nefarious purposes while I am absent. <laughs> well, he said please, so... I mean... I won't do anything. Ah, yes. The Borons. So friendly. So... Uh... Hmm. With any disregard for the safety of others. So yeah, we are on board a Teladi ship. Uh, our pilot here is a Teladi, and um, I think that's enough excitement for now. <laughs> I will... Uh, oh, give me a second. Probably see what we can do next. Oh so then, with our introduction to the X-Universe finished, and uh, us stranded, with a brand new station, uh, and our little Tilladi vessel here, I guess it's time to end this episode for now. Uh, trust me, there will be a lot more episodes of X4 Foundations coming. Uh, quite a lot more. Uh, yeah, I'm dedicated. <laughs> anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this first view into the X universe, and uh, I hope I see you next time when we will be taking inventory of our current situation, sorting out our priorities and um, finally taking our first step to acquiring those sweet 
Sweet profits. Anyway, I'm the Heizmeister, and I hope I see you next time in the X-Universe. Take care, and goodbye.